Today we're checking out this Alma Combo Overdrive from TC Electronic. Let's see how it sounds. Welcome back folks, this is Shane, you were listening to the TC Electronic Alma Combo pedal. Let's take a look. Here's the pedal up close, we get three main controls, drive, level and tone. Level is the volume output, drive is how much dirt you want and the tone controls the top end. The further up this way it is, the more you're going to get. Now what I really like about this pedal is the fact that it has the top loader jacks over here and it runs off a 9 volt DC, 100 milliamp, and it also allows you to put a battery in if you want to unscrew the back. Just to let you know, I paid full price for this here in Melbourne, Australia. I recently bought the Strat, which is behind me, which you'll see in this video again. And I thought, what better way to complement that than getting another pedal? Why practice when you can get pedals? Actually, I think it went a little bit like this. So I just bought a Strat. Instead of going home and practicing, I might get another overdrive pedal. What do you think? Yeah, I, I don't know if that's a good idea, Shane. Like, what you want to do is actually practice instead of just buying more stuff. Absolutely, but the thing is, I need one that says something relevant to my style of blues playing. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a smart move. I mean, it's a copy of another pedal. Like, why don't you just play the pedal that it's copying, which you already have two of? I think I'm going to get it. You've talked me into it. Thank you. So that was basically the conversation I had in my head when it came to this pedal. I knew better, I didn't need it, but man, it looks cool. So let's get into it. All right, let's get into it. Today I'm using my Fender 50s original Stratocaster. If you missed the video I did of this, I'll leave a link up in the cards and you can check that out. Now we're going into my Fender Blues Deluxe Reissue Amplifier and we've got a Tube Screamer going into that. So, I mean, uh, Alma Cambo going into that. So essentially this is like a Tube Screamer. Most people who are buying this probably want it for blues, so that's what we're going to start with. This is neck pickup on clean. Here we go. All right. Pedal on. Here we go. Volume on. Now with the volume control down. Let's 
go over to bridge pickup, back up. Yeah, all right. Let's crank up the gain. But we're going to start with the volume control down, see how dynamic it is. Still bridge pickup. Little more. And all the way up. <laughs> you know what? I don't even know why I bought this. I got so many pedals that sound great and that do pretty much the same thing as this, but I gotta tell you, man, for a Strat, it's just a great sound. It really works well. We're gonna mix it up now, swap over to another guitar. And now over to my Gibson Flying V. This is all stock. It's loaded with two burst bucket pickups. I have a lot of people say, hey, use the Flying V more in the comments, so here we go. But it's hard to play sitting down. I always struggle, so I'm gonna stand up and play just a little bit here. Starting on the bridge pickup, so let's give this a shot. Just needs a little bit more tops. I think with the humbuckers, somewhere around three o'clock is about the sweet spot. So here we go. There's next sections for people who just want to play traditional kind of chords and stuff. Let's swap guitars. Let's try it now with a mix of pickups. Thanks to this Vola Oz 22. We've got a humbucker in the bridge and two single coil pickups. I've just turned the drive on the pedal most of the way down. We've got the tone and level controls at exactly the same spot. But let's start with it off just to show you how it sounds. Here we go. This is Nick. Pedal on. Bridge pick up. Great rhythm pedal, but I really feel like these just shine for that lead guitar stuff. It just feels so squishy and good to play. It doesn't have too much sag, by the way, but it gives you that really nice, kind of like the amp just being pushed over the edge. So one last thing I want to try, turn the gain down all the way, turn the volume all the way up, see what kind of sound we get now. <laughs> So even that's usable, which is really cool. Thanks for watching folks, my name's Shane. So am I happy with my purchase of the Alma Combo from TC Electronic? Yes, <laughs> I'm an idiot. I've got so many pedals like this. Now I heard one of the criticisms of this is some people don't like the size. This right here is about a regular size pedal. If you compare them, 
you can see that the TC electronic one is a little bit bigger. But you know what? You'll actually save some space thanks to the input jacks at the top. So that trade-off in physical size is fine. And I love the fact the tangible controls are huge on the front. It means you can move them with your foot and you can clearly see where they're set thanks to the white indentation, the white markers on each of the actual potentiometer knobs. So I think that's a really cool touch. Now, who's this for? Anyone who wants to do classic rock, blues, obviously the name, it's that Stevie Ray Vaughan thing. I can't really play like that at all, but I love playing blues. And if you're a blues player, you'll get a kick out of this. Now, some people have said that these are sort of like modified Behringer pedals. The T0800 was what put my channel on the map many years ago. I was the first one in the world to review that pedal. And I was shocked, it just sort of kept getting more and more hits over time. And I don't know where it's at now, it doesn't really matter. But the fact is, that pedal I gigged with for years. That and a Voodoo Lab Sparkle Drive were my two main pedals for a long, long time. So if this is a modified one of them, and it's clearly built better than the Behringer in terms of you know, the metal enclosure, it's got a, an on-off soft switch as well, it doesn't click, I really like that, then this would be a, just a really great pedal for anyone wanting to get into the tube screen of space without spending the extra bucks on something else. So I can highly recommend this. If you wanna find out more about it, links will be in the description below. Like I said, I paid full price for this here in Melbourne, Australia at Sky Music, so yeah, this is gonna go on a board. I'm gonna try it out live. It may actually replace the Carrera Overdrive for a few gigs and we'll see how we go. Not like I need another tube screamer. <laughs> but I tell you what, what I will do is I'll do a shootout with all the pedals that are very similar to this in my possession. I think we're up to about eight. So <laughs> we'll see how we go. Thanks again, catch you soon. See ya.